He's Nicky Nels back. <clears throat> As you can see, we're in VirtualBox with Zubuntu 11.10. Now, there's a reason why I'm doing it in VirtualBox, and I haven't installed it next to my Zubuntu 11.04, and I'll come to that in a bit. So, anyway, we're going to log in to code here. That should be my password. And we'll quickly go through it with you. It's not going to be too long because I've also had the beaters, haven't I? And they were okay. I will still be using 1104 for quite a while for some certain reasons, and I'll let you know very shortly. And here we go. Well, as you can see, nothing's much changed really in the Zubuntu world, or the XFCE world, shall we say. It's all how we left it in 1104, which is rather nice. I'm still using 1104 for all my video work anyway at the moment, so no big deal for me really. But I'm going to go through a little few things with you to show you what's changed. <clears throat> right. Under accessories, we now get a leaf pad, this is for definite, instead of mouse pad for your text editor. Yes, that's one of the main ones. Games with the usual graphics, GSUM is still their main one here also. Okay, that's the, the other one they've mainly done. Under internet, Firefox is your main browser. Nothing's really changed too much on the As you can see, nothing's changed too much on the surface, okay? bit of a button really I wanted a few more change but it's stable and that's what we want stability and once it gets my things that I want in it I will change over to it for this particular system okay right talking of systems we're in system oh yeah now unlike Ubuntu 11.10 we do get synaptic package manager as standard now if you're using Ubuntu you have to go to the software center and install it from there and then you can use Synaptic. It's actually been removed completely from there unless you want to install it yourself. Thank you very much. Which I thought was a bit of a bad idea, really. They just want everybody to get to the software center for everything and it's not needed, really. But as you know, Ubuntu is meant to, uh, a plug-in distro for somebody who doesn't use computers very much, really. It's just for plugging it in. Oh, yeah. Anyway, quickly open the task manager. I want a quick look. As you can see, even though we're in VirtualBox here, it's not using only any CPU and none of my memory, okay? So it's nice, the same as the last one. I like it, I like it very much. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up our browser, okay? And we're gonna quickly head on over to Zubuntu site and have a bloody look, okay? So we'll type him in, Zubuntu, and see where we end up, shall we do? Go to the home page. Home page is here, 1110, lovely, thank you, there it is, blah, 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 Well, basically, not a lot has changed. As you can see, GTHM, as I said, oh, paste bin IT, also, that's what also been done. Mm -hmm. uh, the other main one is they've switched from GDM to LightDM as their default display manager. And that's about it, really. Uh, my wireless thing works in it okay as well, so that was all right. Flash is not pre-installed, by the way. You still have to do all that all yourself. But, but here's my big beef with the Buntus, right? They've took out some programs that I want to use. Yes, I know I can compile them myself. Yes, I know that. And stuff like that. But why they took them out in the first place? I mean, it's a tiny, tiny program. But hey, you know, I'll just log in here a minute. And let you know, and you'll see what I mean. Now, I have reloaded everything and done everything. It's installed, not from a live CD, by the way. It's installed in VirtualBox. So, one of, the, one of the programs I used to like using for just quick editing was Avid Emacs. But, it's gone, man. It's gone. It's not in the packages anymore. No. It should be there. Why have they got rid of it? There's another few programs I also got rid of that I used to use that have gone from 11.04, basically. So, yeah, a bit of a bum, really. But on the whole, it has not changed from the last one. Not at all. There's still hardly any desktop pictures or backgrounds as well. So that's also another bum. Yeah, what more can I say, really? Not a lot. But if you don't like Unity and you want something more traditional, have a go at XFC Zubuntu 11.10. And I'm sure you'll rather like it very much. And on this one, I'm also going to give 4.9 out of 5 for the simple reason they've missed some of my programs out, man. And those twisted my melon. Sneaky Linux going out. I see you later. Bye-bye.